Okay, now I am going to change your life. Are you ready? <laughs> You're gonna be so excited. I'm gonna change your homemaking life anyway. Da 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 da! You wanna see my favorites? Ooh! Ooh. <laughs> Ever wonder what a midlife crisis pseudo vlogger looks like? Welcome back to The Helpful Home. I'm Sunday Dawn, and on today's episode, I am coming at you with my first ever favorites video. In fact, it is my first ever collab with my sweet new YouTube friend, Jessica Myros. We have swam in similar circles peripherally in the YouTubeiverse, I will say. If that's such a thing, we're both friends with Joy from Organized with Joy, who is on my Tiny Tidy team on Tuesdays. And in fact, I will say that's going to be probably a slight difference in our content today. Me and Jessica are at two very different stages of life. She still has small children at home, so her links to her favorites are probably going to be things that are helpful while still feeding a big family or caring for a family with littles at home. I am a 47-year-old nana of almost four, fourth grandbaby due this Christmas, and and so I am heavy into my Nana era. I spend most of my time playing with grandbabies and doing the hobbies. In fact, my oldest told me a couple of years back that I was very good at my midlife crisis. So I'm going to take that as a compliment. One of those midlife crises is a home organization YouTube channel. So most of, if not all, all of my favorites are going to have to do with either home organization or just life organization. So these are my favorites to help organize, beautify, and just make your life more darn fun. Okay, so I'm going to start right off here in my home studio with my favorite organization items that I use to keep all of my midlife crisis hobbies and side hustles organized. So um, one of my favorites, which you cannot get because it was a custom build by a dear friend of mine, is my desk. But let me say what helps about this desk. I One of my hobbies is painting, so the top has been well loved. But it was beautiful when they first finished it. They custom built me this top. And we put it on two sawhorses that can easily be folded up. Top can be popped down. And if somebody needs to sleep and the spare room needs to function as a guest room, which doesn't happen often, but it happens on occasion, I just fold that up and I pop out my hobby storage, which is stored safely below my desk, completely out of reach of my feet. I can sit here in my rolling desk chair and my feet don't touch. This is the Sonoma Artisan File Box off of Amazon. I will link it or something similar for you in the description box. All of these links, I'm going to grab one of these for you. All of these links are unaffiliated, save for one. And I'll let you know which one of those this is. Most of these are just my favorites. So what I love about it, oh, I did know this was the empty one. You always need room to grow, right? So this is the empty one. I thought I would pull it out and show you how it works. But what I love about it is that first of all, there's a place for a, as you can see here, a label. I do not have these labeled. I am actually a fan of the labeling, but these shift around kind of often based on what part of my business I'm heavily involved in based on the time of year. What I love about these is you simply pull the bottom fold in the sides and put it all together within the lid and then it can just be stowed away. So when they're empty, they are not taking up a huge amount of space like a traditional tote would. Um, yes, this one is a little dirty. I, I just preferred the cream and it's worth it. These do come clean with a damp rag and a little bit of oxy and I do that on occasion. They also come in gray, so I shall link both. So the Sonoma Artisan file box on Amazon. It'll change your life, man. This used to be full of cardboard boxes of merch and packaging and supplies. I've got a palette drying up there right now from this morning's paint <laughs> and, and it serves as a laptop holder when in a pinch. So the Sonoma Artisan File Box, favorite number one. In fact, I'll show you somewhere else. I currently use that file box. Currently have two of them stored up here with photo projects that I'm working on and the top one is almost empty. So what I love about it is when it becomes empty, I pull it down, I fold it up, I tuck it in here with the other foldable storage. Always buy foldable storage, people, because you don't want to have to just have huge totes 
in your attic or your garage taking up space. And this is a comp, so I'm going to include this in my description box as well. This is the Decosis Hanging File Folder Box in gray tweed. I believe it also comes in cream. This is the one we just used to organize my newest baby grandson's closet. Um, he was born last Christmas. New grandbaby due this upcoming Christmas. Boy, are my girls keeping me busy. Um, but as a new mom, she preferred this one. You just pop out the bottom, same as the other, fold it in, but the lid is attached. So you're a new mama. You don't want to be trying to keep track of lids. As you can see behind me, what goes on in here also is a lot of photo organization. I am a project lifer. I now do it on the app mostly, but I have a lot of scrapbooking supplies. I hate that word. So not a scrapbooker, but I am a documenter. I do like to document my family history. I love to take photos and I love to do something with them. So we host Photo Club Friday here on my channel every first Friday of the month. And so some of my favorites involve my photo organization storage. I got all the rolling cards, people. I got all the rolling cards. Like I said, too many midlife crisis hobbies, but here is my current painting cart. I am not going to list this one in my favorites because it's not my favorite. There are two, and this one is my favorite. It is so sturdy. It is from Ikea. I will list it or something comparable in the description box, and I literally, here are the two current albums I'm working on. I'm working on a Disney World vacation album. Here are the photos sorted for that one. And I'm working on finishing up an album, oddly, from, it's such a weird one, from 2020, from 2020. Wow, talk about a heavy album to do. Um, but that is the album where I switched to the app. So I have currently worked forward because I like to keep up on my photos, but that was the album in between where I was still partway through physically project lifing them. So I had project life physically and then the other ones I was working on digitally and it kind of just gave me a little brain bump and I went like, ah, I don't know how to finish that one. But all I had left to do was the candids for the year. Here they are. It gives me a perfect place to store my sorted photos for the rest of the year, the cards that I'm using for those current albums and the albums themselves. And I literally roll this puppy out right to my family room if I'm wanting to work with my family, which often I'll work with my, my family or hubby while we're watching something in the evenings, and I can roll it right out, work on it, and then roll it right back. Oh, my nightlight. So, yeah, love it. Super easy to maneuver, really, really easy to put together, well made, one of my faves. And you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna come right on out here to my Project Life bookcase, and I'm going to link my We Are Memory Keepers brown leather 12 by 12 scrapbook albums in cinnamon. I'm going to link them. I get them on Amazon. You can also get them on the We Are Memory Keepers website. But they are one of my faves. One of my favorite things, best investment I ever made was re-albuming all my photos into matching photo albums that are binder style so I can add and remove as I wish. As you can see here, I have got 98 through, yeah, 2020 is missing. <laughs> Even somebody crazy photo obsessed like me has blocks. So still finishing 2020, but then I did continue to move on. These are just done in, these are just done in the app. So to show you what that means, this style, I now do the pages in the app. I have them sent to me. They come in a 12 by 12, although they're project lifestyle with journaling and everything else. So oh, talk about 2020. I think this is early 2021. So yeah, so I project life on the app. I still use my We Are Memory Keepers brown leather 12 by 12 scrapbook albums. And yeah, working on 2024. So it is missing because it is currently in progress. And oddly, 2020 is in progress. But thank goodness I have my Ikea rolling cart because I just roll it right out here. Sometimes I work right here on the floor in front of my bookcase. And sometimes I work right over there in front of the TV. Sometimes I'm watching Real Housewives of New York. Don't judge me, you have your own weird thing. You probably watch The Bachelor for heaven's sake. Okay, now I am going to change your life. Are you ready? I'm about to change your life. <laughs> You're gonna be so excited. I'm gonna change your homemaking making life anyway. Um, every woman's most dreaded chore, folding the fitted sheet. I'm not going to teach you how to fold a fitted sheet because who the heck knows, but what I am going to teach you how to do is how to hide it. 
Hide your ugly people. Hide it. Nobody wants to see the ugly things. You just hide them behind da, 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 da. sheet boxes. This is the Yakaye bed sheet organizer in beige. I will link it below. It is life changing. It has a place for labels too. I gotta tell you, I love a label as you can see with my albums, but um, I really, I don't tend to waste time labeling things like sheets with a little clear holder. But anyhow, the label could be lovely if you so choose to label, but what it does is it holds your sheets. And so nobody can tell that you really didn't fold them very good. In fact, I folded these two good. Somebody was going to see them. And so, um, so I folded them nicely, but who the heck folds sheets nicely? And to be quite honest, let's show you. Okay. So how it works is these pieces Velcro right atop and this part zips and then your sheets, as I said, way too nicely folded because you know, the YouTube verse was going to see, but truly you could just roll these puppies up into a big, I actually did a pretty darn good job. I actually did a pretty darn good job on that. Who knew? But really, you could roll this up into a wad. You could just stick a wad of sheets. I've done it with my daughter's sheets. And you just fold that over, zip it up, or not, if you don't want to take the time. Velcro it closed. Done. Okay, maybe you should zip it. But you get the, you get the picture. Okay, there, I did it correctly. Zip it up, zip it up, and it will close correctly, beautifully. I actually have four of these. They look so lovely, all stacked together in my closet on the shelf. And everybody's like, dang, that girl organized. Now you're gonna have to excuse the bad light here because it's gonna be weird indoor lighting because my laundry room has no window, but I have to include this because if you're gonna ask my favorites to beautify your homemaking life, it is absolutely these caddy, and organizers from Walmart. I got them at my Walmart neighborhood market. I did not see them online, but I have seen them at multiple Walmart neighborhood markets. I have gifted these to friends. I've had friends just go buy these on their own because it is such a nice thing to be able to keep all of your cleaning supplies. I've got my methods in the front, my Mrs. Myers in the back. They are ready to go. And then this is for laundry pods, I believe. I keep cleaning rags and a grout brush. And then my cleaning rags are ready and available right next to my cleaning caddy. And it just makes each day so much easier, especially if you're going to do a big clean of the bathroom. You just pull those things aside, take them in the bathroom, and I will show you the other place I use my favorite caddy. Okay, the other place I use my favorite caddy is under the kitchen sink. And it hides a multitude of sins. So um, my sort of extra cleaners that aren't daily use, they go in the back. They're sort of in there in an organized fashion, but it wouldn't matter because in front is my Walmart metal caddy. So I have, I have, I believe this is like fruit and veggie wash. This is my flat top stove cleaner. I've got stainless wipes. I've got Keurig cleaner in the back. I've got scrub brushes. Yeah, it, ha it houses everything I need. Dish soap is actually in a pretty bottle on the top, so my dish soap is not there. These are the smaller version of laundry pod holders. I use one for my dish pods and the other one for my supplies for cleaning my flat top stove. And yeah, like all three of those metal cleaning caddies or laundry soap caddies are just probably my very favorite home organization items to beautify your homemaking life. Because listen, I was raised by a 1950s housewife and she was the original romanticize your lifer. Definitely makes your chores a lot more fun. Okay, I am gonna say that the last item I'm going to show you that is one of my favorites, and it is genuinely one of my favorites, is my Minoy bag. And I just unboxed my second Minoy bag. But this is the only item on my list that I am affiliated with. There will be a coupon code and a link in the description box if you so choose. Coupon code is Sunday20, I believe. I checked the box. And you get 20% off. Now these are very high grade leather bags. Almost all of them have an organization element, some sort of wallet inside. It is my favorite feature. I love anything to keep your life organized, as you can imagine. From the content on my channel, this is the Bali bag, I believe, in caramel. I will list that in the description box below as well. But it has three zip pouches and a middle pouch. 
to hold my manicure bag because that's how I roll. So, love my Bali bag. Just opened my Naya bag. I will give you a sneak peek. There will be another perfect purse organization video coming up next week since my first one did so well and they gifted me another bag. I will show you the way that I'm going to outfit this bag in that video, but I will give you a sneak peek of the Naya bag. Okay, here is my Naya bag. As I said, I have opened it previously. I unboxed it for a video, but they come in a lovely velvet pouch. I've never had such a nice fine leather purse that it came in a lovely pouch with a thank you card and care instructions. So, love that. And we will get that out of the way for now. But this is the Naya bag and I have yet to open it, so let's see. I'm going to guess this is the, yes, we always have some sort of built-in interior wallet, which is really, really important. Oh, very cool. So it has a latch where I can snap up my wallet so that nobody can get in there. It has an additional snap. And then what I liked about this person, she asked me which one I wanted to try next, is it had, oh, I've got more wallet space. Both the purses I have received has a key attachment so that you can keep track of your keys. This one has another magnetic enclosure pouch and a zipper pouch. So lots of built-in storage, but also I do have a small makeup bag that I like to keep in my existing purses. I like to be able to pull it out of a purse and pop it in another one and it will fit just inside right there. So the rest of my purse organization will fit right there. I measured it and it will fit right inside since this bag is a little bit thicker in its pouch. Um, yeah, we'll just hold my existing purse organization bag that has all of my makeup and, you know, hairspray and um, little wisp toothbrushes and tweezers and all those things that a girl likes to carry. And then my manicure bag will fit right there. So yeah, love this and look forward to that perfect purse organization video coming at you next week where I unbox the Naya bag. And I was literally just sitting here looking at my favorite things, like my real favorite things that I surround myself with at my desk while I paint, make jewelry, edit my midlife crisis pseudo vlogs, um, sometimes photo album, whatever I do, this is where I do it. This is probably my favorite place in the whole house. And so it is where I surround myself with my favorite things that are priceless, that I can't put in the list, that you can't purchase. But as an afterthought, I decided to share a couple of them on our way out. So thank you so much for being here for my first ever collab with Jessica Myros and go down and follow her channel. And if you're new here from her channel, thank you so much. I hope you subscribe and I look forward to seeing you here in the comments. And thank you, Jessica. Very sweet. I really appreciate you throwing your hand out for the smaller channels and giving us a little bit of time on your precious platform. So enjoyed working with you and going out with my priceless favorites. See you next time on The Helpful Home. And if you stay to the end, thank you so much. These are my favorites that are most priceless that cannot be replaced. This is a repro of a Renoir painting. It hung above my grandmother's piano while I was growing up from my earliest age that I can remember. It hung above my piano for quite some time. Now it sits right at my desk where I can see it whenever I'm here working. And what I love about it the most is it hung over the piano while I was a child, but I grew up to have a daughter with that hair and a younger daughter with that hair, just about their ages. And that was a very normal thing to see at my piano for a good number of years. Still, still when they come over for Christmas, they sit down at the piano and play. And my other priceless favorite was made by my sister aunt. If you know, you know, and she's watching. Thank you, sister aunt, because she made me this amazing lamp herself. She took apart an existing lamp, literally drilled through some of my favorite books and put it all back together and turned it into a lamp and it works. It's not plugged in, anticlimactic, but it does work. <laughs> and it is definitely one of my favorite one-of-a-kind things that I own. 
the phone is just cool. Got it at a garage sale. The book is a vintage copy of Arabian Nights. The binding is completely trashed. In fact, it has no binding left, so it's strung together. But what a fantastic old vintage copy of Arabian Nights. Um, these are my mother's ashes. If you stayed till the end, you got that little tidbit. I'm a little morbid, but you know, I put her in an urn that matches the painting because that's how I roll. Morbid, but I like things to be cohesive. Anyway, night mama. Night folks. See you next time on The Helpful Home.